Hey everybody. Uh, welcome to episode two of Stone Shard. I'm just turn this down a little bit. I uh, thought long and hard about whether or not I should upload that last video um, because I was kind of embarrassed. But you know, it it dawned on me. This is kind of what I want this channel to be about. If it uh, is ever about anything, it's you know, I, I'm a dad. I'm a little brother. When I was a kid, I, I was I was the one sitting on the couch uh, and uh, reading the instruction booklet and giving advice on maybe maybe how to how to do things. So, um, you know, I I, I suck, and I, I, hopefully it's not terribly boring to watch, but uh, you know, it's probably a little painful. Um, so I'm gonna try again with this build, see if we can do it. The uh, uh, and if we can't, I'm just gonna start over and do the build I did before that worked perfectly. So, uh, you know, best of luck to me. I actually didn't think that I would uh, continue this, but here we are. Might as well give it a try, right? Okay, so I already wasted a turn. I'm gonna waste that turn. So he's gonna get an extra turn. I didn't have my dang sword out. Okay, we gotta dodge that. I think we normally had this thing well destroyed by the time that came out. Yes, I do think I can stop you. I'm gonna just give you a little faint. So, I mean, no, so far no damage, but it really, in some ways, it doesn't even matter, right? Because, uh, you know, we we were doing fine until this guy hit us. We'll take care of this guy. More fumbles. It's doing less well this time. So I'm wondering, can I? Hmm, I don't think so. Can I, with my bow, just outrun this guy? I wonder. I may try going down south again. Let's see here. All right, there he goes. So I, I gotta get away from you. Gotta get away. Gotta get away. I can't go down south. He's cut me off. Here. I want to get him into his pattern. I gotta move. Yep, I gotta move. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, so I gotta keep him up here. Fine. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna charge. Good. Can I... I think... I can't, right? Okay. Ah, uh, you know what it is? We keep hitting... <laughs> I apologize, everybody. I really, truly am terrible at video games. I, uh... <laughs> uh... Okay, so I can take this turn to switch back to Bo. I believe I can shoot him, because I'm enough away. And then I'm gonna hit two instead of... No, okay, so that was a mistake. Now I have to move, for sure. That was a close one. Maybe he'll hit the wall. He will. But I, I gotta keep going away from you. Just bows are tough, man. Bows are tough. But they seem to have a good thing going in the sense that he's he's gonna hit the wall again. No, he's not. So let's see, here can I take the time? I can't. Seem to be far enough away here. How do I get on this square without picking up the arrow? So 
doing fine. Just gotta move away from him. Hopefully. No, okay, I gotta move. Is he gonna charge? Good. I could have moved a little further away. That's fine. I gotta move. No, no, no. Why didn't it attack him? That is so frustrating. Okay, now he's very far away. I think I can take one more. I think if he does it, it would be to me, so I can't do it. Now, am I out of arrows? I am. Is this going to cost me a turn? It is. But now, please don't eat any of these bodies. So, am I okay? I think I'm okay. Not okay. Not okay. Oh, he's gonna eat that body, isn't he? Damn it, disappointing. Careful where I click here. I can do this. I think I gotta move. I think I gotta move. I'm safe. That was dumb. I should have should have aimed. So now I might be able to. Okay, okay, we're getting there. Gotta move. Gotta move. Oh! Clicked on the arrow. Please don't need a body. I'm so... Frustrated. I gotta move. I gotta move. I gotta move. I can draw. He did it right away. I didn't think he would do that. I think he was gonna do that. So do I take the free? Is he gonna breathe on me? I'm out of arrows. Oh my god. This is like so clutch here. Okay, let me just keep He died. Why did he die? I don't know. We've done it. We did it, people. Oh my god. That was intense. That's funny. Okay, so you knew it was possible. You just had to use like 40 arrows and mess up like 60 times. That's a hell of a trip. I'm sure you do, Rinward. Now is not the time. We have the stone shard. Let's get out of here. Hop, 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 hop. Do I need to grab the stone shard? 
maybe. It's funny, the movement reminds me a little bit of uh, Crypt of the Necrodancer. Is that what that movie was, or that game was called? I think so. Doot, 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 doot. And it's also a little bit like, I don't know, moving a toy across a, it's a little bit like moving a mini across a map, which I like. You sort of do that little, when you're counting the hexes or the tiles. All right, let's get yelled at. My entire fortune! My ruin! For the love of the whole framework, shut your mouth! Baron is dead! Locke is dead! So is Jorgen, and you cry over some old junk! And it's all because of you, Baron. If you think our lads would kick it out, you could have at least told me. An easy job, maybe some digging. You call a horde of cannibals an easy job. Are you out of your mind? You think I was lying to you? Gwenel swore that the monastery had been deserted for decades. So you're saying that your Gwenel set us up for certain death? I... I don't know. I hope not. If this mistake cost half our men their lives. Okay. So what happened is we got hired for a job to go in here. It was supposed to be easy, but it was full of vampires. And a weird abbey priestess priest cult that also had the stone shard. I know. I have many questions too. And believe me, once we are done with the contract, Gwynel will answer each and every one of them. No, Varen. This is where we part. The caravan is no more. Brynward, Aruz, and I are going back to Bryn. After mm. all these years, I've just saved your hide. All you did was save us from the trap you let us into. We always used to know where and what our jobs were. But once you started rubbing elbows with Gwinnell, there was no end to our misfortune. I want to know what Gwinnell is hiding, why he needs stone shards, and what these damn stone shards are to begin with. Why is the game named and after it? We don't have the slightest idea about anything, while you only care about money. But there is no paying death off. I'm done. You're hmm. free to go. But I am bound by the contract. Mm, the contract. I'll manage without you. Get lost. Oh. Yeah. Osbrook, one week later. Yeah, I gotta say, I mean, that guy was showing, um... My leg is crippled. Caravan's half gone, my leg is crippled. And the other half are deserted. And traitors. The host be praised. But at least I've got the stone shot. So, I was going to say, that guy is showing uncommon smarts for a typical RPG party member. If I knew I had to deal with an entire cult of devil knows what, I'd think thrice before getting into the whole mess. I'm too old for an adventure like this. Ah, only I could have a good talk with Gwinnell right now. I'd ask him what the hell is going on. I've been doing this for 30 years, but I've never found myself in such a tough spot. Mm. I need to get back to Bryn. I'm not up to going there by myself. So that's why I sent for you. Do you remember how I helped you out back then? It's time to return the favor. Damn. Okay, so we're old acquaintances with him. Now we get to choose our actual player. So, who... Should we continue with our ranged playthrough? It's interesting that perception deals with crit chance and also agility. We might try this guy, Derwin. Derwin spent most of his life in loyal service to the late king, relentlessly patrolling the hunting grounds of his majesty. He had great aim, knew the forest as the back of his hands. And very few poachers, orcs, and monsters survived their encounters with the royal ranger. Over his years of service, Derwin eradicated countless dangers lurking in the woods, making one natch after another on his bow. Natch, notch, natch. After King Etbert's death, the royal rangers disobeyed the council's orders and refused to participate in the fratricidal war. As a punishment, the unit was disbanded, so Derwin took his weapons and headed back into the woods. During the war, he continued to do what he always did, 
fulfill contracts and bounties, hunt dangerous monsters, and help peasants. Common folks rightly, rightly considered him their stalwart protector. All right, so Isn't we're Robin so Hood. Interesting. So here yeah, okay. I can't walk to Bryn with we need to cart and horses. While you were away, I had a talk with a village elder. We came to an agreement. Don't worry about the contract. It's nothing special. I don't think you need my... Uh, okay, so we got a map. The um, about local. There's, there's a, like, a lot of dialogue options in here. Save system. To save the game, you need to rent a room in the tavern and sleep for any amount of time. You can also save your game in cleared out camps. If you die while playing standard mode, you can resume the game from your save. In permadeath mode, your saves are irre irreversibly erased on death. Do not think that we are going to do permadeath. And I can say... And a giant resounding, ah, oh, hell no. I think it's interesting that people can do that. They must have more time than I do. So like I said, there's, a, there's like really a ton of stuff to talk to people about in this game. I mean, fine infusions there. Now pig swill. But I mean, the innkeeper could talk for days. The other guy, talk for days. But what you need to know is we have to do three contracts for the elder. The elder is in this little... A house in here in the center of the town and weirdly he's got some guards he also just has all this stuff uh that we can just take which is super handy interesting we have a bow and arrow already so why don't i put that back we'll kick the arrows derwin's bow 18 piercing damage versus what 18 piercing damage so does it do much special um accuracy so we get uh, three percent crit chance we get slightly more accuracy armor pen great we'll take it um you know the great sword was pretty good right this stuff doesn't have terrible sell value so maybe we'll just take it and sell it 25 20 all right we'll sell you I don't know who would buy wooden stuff. I think another interesting thing is sort of you get more money depending on who you're selling to, which is like a classic RPG thing, right? Uh, okay, so here's the Elder. We're going to get the quests from him. Not so long ago, we had an odd merchant passing through our lands. Somehow he managed to stumble upon the brigands from Bastion Reevestain. He paid them off and got away with his life, but he had to wave his goods goodbye. Among other things, he was transporting a very important set of vials on the orders of some bigwig. The merchant told me that if his employer learns about the missing goods, he's done for. Perhaps you could look into the poor... F uh, you, sorry. Huh. Perhaps you could help the poor fellow out. He promised to pay his savior well. All right, I'll do it. Let's discuss something else. You need a mercenary. Stolen reliquary. Recently, a band of marauders stormed a monastery. They murdered all the monks who cleared the place out, and they even took their reliquary. Stealing holy items... Now, that's a new low. However, old habits die hard for some people, so it's up to you to put them to death. Okie doke. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Okay. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Okay. So, here's a bunch of different vendors. Here's a uh, well where you can fill up your water skin. Here's a blacksmith. Let's see what we can sell him. Jeez. I'm not going to get great value off of any of this, huh? They must know it's starter gear. Hmm. So, you know, this is actually a point where, uh, at this point in the game, I I'm not entirely sure what to do. <laughs> we get to pick a skill. I think I'm going to pick, um, we're going to go with our range stuff. We're going to pick that out. And then I think we're going to try and go hunting. Um, but like I said, uh, I, I don't really, I, I did not do, I've not traditionally done well. I did a little bit of research. And it seems a lot of people go north when they start, and they grind for a level. Um, 
So I'm going to try that. In my previous playthrough, I, I just jumped right into doing these um, uh, quests. In fact, let's look at our journal. Danger high. Alchemy kit, danger average. Stolen reliquary, danger high. So let's do alchemy kit first. But I mean, you know, what can I even do? Birds. We're going to look for, like, wolves and stuff like that, I guess. So it should set up a melee weapon. And I will do this. I probably should do the... the I'm going to try Dirk main hand axe offhand. Just, I, I think... It doesn't tell you... really doesn't tell you what does what but I'm you know if it's like a normal game right like being agility based should should help us with the dirk yeah Come on, pig. Ha! Yeah. Got him. Now, let's see. Were there more arrows up here? There's a moose over here. He ran away? Moose ran away? Big old moose like that? Really? Can I go over here? Find the moose? Where'd you go, moose? Moose. Nothing. All right. So we got five XP for that boar. We've got a boar skin. Guess we have to figure out who to sell that to. To the tanner. We are going to run out of arrows sooner or later. I think on a fresh save... Um, Oh, okay, okay. Bears are bad. I'm gonna run away from bears. Always run from bears. That's a good lesson in life. Always run from bears. There's a fox. Wow. Okay, one shot, same XP. Can't complain about that. Okay, here comes some wolves. Eh? Bad news. We've got nothing to do on these guys except This game, not super easy. You know, three bear, three wolves, and we're freaking toast. We have like one healing salve. I don't know if it's a good idea to waste stuff like that. I'm gonna rest here. Then we're gonna pick up all these pelts. Okay. Wolf pelt. We really only got one pelt? How much XP did we get for that, by the way? Can we come over here? What does this log do? Escape. Log. Wolf dies. 35. Okay. 
So that's crazy. Wolves, way better XP. But still, you can see we have a lot of grinding to do. Okay, we're in pain. Fumble chance is high. Do we have anything to deal with pain? Stop a body part from bleeding. No, we, we've got nothing. What is this guy, Turbo Turbo Boar? I feel like this is gonna getting us dangerously close to bear territory. I'm gonna head back to town. I'm just I'm a cautious boy. Alright, we didn't get any didn't get another hide off of him, but let's sell these hides, see what we can get. I wonder if because we rested some of the hides went away. I kind of doubt it, but we'll find out. We'll look for the tanner. It's getting a little late. Take a little sleep at the inn and see what happens. We should just probably you know look around for stuff we want to buy too. Um, one thing is, I'm not a huge fan of the visibility system in this game. I get it; it's kind of neat, but I, I find it very disorienting while I'm walking around. A little bit strobodelic, man. And uh, I'm not high right now, so that's a problem for me. We can go back in. Let's see. Who's the tanner? Is there a tanner? Here's a blacksmith. I feel like this guy might be a tanner down here. You're like wood. You've got scissors. You might be cutting stuff. Another mercenary. Anyway, I hope you'll manage to survive a bit longer than our last hero. Okay. Nice to meet you, too. What happened to the last manager? Do I look like a person who cares about some cutthroats? Go ask Adar. He's the one who deals with them. I just occasionally spot yet another armed bloke barging into ours broken every other month. Spends a day or two parading around the village, rattles his armor, chases chickens, and pockets everything that isn't nailed down. Then perhaps he feels some pains of consciousness and decides to pick up a contract. Honey! I like your outfit. You look like a nurse. Or a doctor. You can? That's so nice. My daughter just came up in like a full... You're a doctor? That's full doctor's outfit. You look great. I'll tell you what, honey, in a couple of minutes I'll come down and, and uh, you can help me out with one of my stuffed animals, okay? Kids are cute. Okay, this sells for some decent gold. This one, 53. Good. All right, I mean, that helps us out, right? Because we have what? We have rags on traveling shoes. Apprentice cowl. What are we wearing? Derwin's vest. Two protections. Not bad. But I mean, look at this. Pyro no, Pyromancer cowl. We don't really need that. Arming cap. Magic resistance. Frost is a bleed. Durability. Stealth 5%. Eh, you know what? Knockback resistance. Noise produced. Minus feet. Now this is some good S right here. 469 though. Not a chance we can afford that. So... We're not even going to try. Let's keep it together. Oh, I'm hungry and thirsty. Oh, boy. All right, well, I can get a free drink here. I can have a little bit of bread. What am I doing? We, we lost five arrows out there. Could be worse. Okay, that's the guy's house. We're really going to have to farm up a storm here. But I think for now, what we're going to do is we'll just explore the save system here. And uh, let's see. I need to save the night. Ten crowns for a day. Ten crowns to save. That's a, a rough deal. Hit five. Exit. 
go up the stairs. I mean, there's, there is a lot of stuff that you can just, you know, pocket this apple. Great. Thank you, apple. And you can sleep. Forget how you tell what time it is. Seems late in the day. So we might as well just go 12 hours. See if we can come around till tomorrow morning. You get, you get this yeah, vigorous buff. for So for like 900 steps, we have uh, more energy, restoration, energy, and we get five more experience. We are lightly dehydrated. Not a problem. We can fix that when we pick up our next game. So everybody, anybody who's watching, I hope you had a great time. I hope you're having a great day, night, uh, and that things are all lollipops and gumdrops for you. I'm going to go play with my kids a little bit. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.